Whenever I talk to folks about honeybees, questions about stinging always comes up. And as you can see here, there's a lot of times, even in extreme conditions like using a chainsaw to cut open a fallen tree to save a colony, that you can often work around them with little or no worry of being stung. But often one of the first questions we hear is, how many times have you been stung? Well, asking a beekeeper how many times they've been stung may not be the right question. Because if you're talking to someone who's regularly around a lot of bees, it'd probably be better to ask, how many times have you been stung today? Because that might be easier for us to remember. Sometimes I will use a veil on a long sleeve shirt. It kind of depends on the bees. But there's another question we hear a lot. Do honey bees really die when they sting? Well, if they sting other insects, no. But if they sting something with elastic skins like ours, unfortunately, most of the time, the answer is going to be, yeah, they die. But there are exceptions, and it doesn't take long with honeybees to learn that there's always going to be exceptions. Take this little bee, for instance. I was going through a small hive, and a few minutes into the inspection, she decided to get me out of there. At this point, she's about a minute into trying to get her stinger free. And she's not about ready to fly off and leave part of herself stuck in my arm. Normally, she would have stung me, and the stinger's barbs would have caught in my skin as she pulled away, and the tip of her abdomen with the stinger in the venom sac, sometimes even some of her insides, would be stuck in my skin. Then the muscles in the venom sac would work the stinger deeper into the skin, pumping the venom sac until it's empty. Roughly two and a half, three minutes, bee will be dead, venom sac will be pumped out, and the stinger will be still. Well, now this little gal, she's not having any of that. She hasn't given up yet. At one point, I thought about bringing the edge of my hive tool up, scrape out the stinger so she could fly away, but then I thought I'd just give her a little more time see what she'd do. That's been over two minutes. She's still working to get loose. She tries pulling, spinning one way, then another, even grabbing the stinger with her hind leg. Now, obviously, she's had no experience of losing her stinger, but she appears very well aware if she pulls too hard, she'll die. About two and a half minutes later, she works herself free. Well, then there's this little lady. A couple minutes later, she prefers going only counterclockwise, it seems. Now, although it does appear that way, bees are not aggressive. They are defensive. Stinging is the last thing they want to do, and will only sting when they feel threatened. The problem with that is, sometimes other things have already got to them and ticked them off before we get there. She works at it with the same effort and awareness as the rest of them, and she gets free in about 30 seconds. Well, this little gal, just a couple minutes later, again in the same hive, she's really getting after it. She seems to prefer going only clockwise. Now, don't you think it's odd that the barbs hold the stinger so tight it can't be pulled out, but it won't twist off, no matter which way or how many times they spin around? It takes her only 25 seconds to get free. The only thing I did different was give them time to get loose. So, so wait a minute, that's, that's it. Maybe if I could just talk all you folks into waiting and letting the bees spin around for a while rather than slapping at them right away when they sting, just think of how many more bees would get free and be alive just like this. And are you with me on this? And see, we could, we could use slogans like, just give them time and they'll be fine, or, or don't slap that bee, give them time to work free. You, you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably not. It's all right. Anyway, uh, in the meantime... Just please remember, bees don't fly out of their hive looking for somebody to sting. The sole desire of a honeybee is to fly out, bring back food and supplies to their colony, and then fly back out and do it all over again. You know, the way things are anymore, that can be pretty challenging for them. So the challenge for us is to provide them with a secure, clean environment and healthy food sources. Huh. That kind of sounds like something we'd all benefit from, doesn't it?